Hey guys, how's it going? I'm doing pretty well myself. In fact, actually, I'm doing great because Mo Yang just released a brand new snapshot and it's fantastic. Yeah, Mo Yang's in a bit of a strange mood recently, you know. They keep adding these features that we've wanted for years, you know. Would you like us to fix boats? I mean, yeah, we'd like you to fix boats. Would you like us to add wings to the game? Yes, absolutely. Um, how about, you know, would you like us to add some boots that let you walk on water? I mean, yep. Yeah. That would be pretty damn sweet. Okay guys, so Mo Yang, or rather Dinnerbone, has decided in his infinite wisdom that it is time that we can freeze water beneath our feet. This is really cool. So basically, they've actually now added a new enchantment that lets you freeze water beneath your feet. It's called Frost Walker, as you could probably guess quite easily, and it's really, really cool. So here are 10 things that you're going to want to know about this new enchantment. Alright, to begin, this is the first enchantment that cannot be acquired through regular enchanting. Instead, you have to find this as treasure. Now, I'm not entirely sure whether this means in book form or in boot form, but whatever the case, you cannot go into an enchantment table, place your boots, and get this enchantment. It can only be found as treasure. So there are actually two levels to this enchantment, level 1 and level 2, and depending on which level you have will result in a smaller or larger ice ring around you. So let me demonstrate this with the level 1. So you place these on here, you'll see that the diameter is this size. Now if we compare that with level 1, so here is level 1, and this is level 2, you'll see that the radius is slightly larger. In order to freeze the water, you have to do two things. First of all, you have to be on the same level as the water, and you also need to be on solid ground. So as you can see, we're currently on solid ground, but we're a little bit too high to freeze the water. Um, on the other side of the spectrum, if we're in the water, and we jump in, we're on the same level as the water here, but because there's no solid blocks, the ice won't freeze. So you have to be on the same level, and you have to be um, on solid blocks. So as you can see here, because we're on solid blocks and near the water on the same level, the ice will actually freeze as we walk. Now, as you've probably noticed, as I've been walking around, the ice disappears behind me. And this is because this is actually a brand new ice block called frosted ice. So this will actually decay as we go. And basically what this means is we don't leave any ugly terrain behind our wake. Now, this new frosted ice melts based on night level, very much like regular ice. So what this means is if you try to walk on water at night time, you'll notice that the ice actually doesn't decay. you will have to wait till morning for it to do that. But if we actually place down some light sources such as sea lanterns, you'll notice that the ice begins to crack. An interesting side effect about this is that this works on both static water and flowing water, which means we can actually convert flowing water into static water pretty easily. So let me demonstrate that. If we just place down some, or just one block of water in the centre there, and we start to walk over here, we actually convert that into uh, regular ice. Well, not regular ice, this is frosted ice. But as it decays, you'll notice that all of it actually turns into regular water, and suddenly we have all these source blocks. A fun thing is that this also works under water. So if you actually step into this water, I'll kind of demonstrate this, you'll see that the water underneath the water begins to freeze and it begins to decay. But there's a little bit more to this because if you actually go deeper down into the water, so for example, if I go where to be up here, you'll see that it begins to freeze as well. But you'll notice that the water down, the ice down here will not decay and that's because as i mentioned before this all goes based on light levels and because it's so dark down here the frosted ice will just remain so i was kind of curious on what would happen if you tried to freeze an entity would it encase it in ice and the actual answer to that is that it will avoid entities so it will take um into consideration where the entity is and it will just leave that as water which is kind of interesting in its own way actually so then I was curious, does this work with boats? What happens with boats? So let's just test that out, shall we? Let's place a boat down there. And we will hop in. So as you can see, it does try to avoid the boat at all costs. Let's just wait for that to melt, just so we can see what happens. So if you actually go over shallow land, you'll see that the ice actually does generate beneath the, beneath the surface of the water and you can just uh, go along as you please now that will decay like I showed earlier but it's still pretty cool to just be speeding along and just leaving a big trail of ice underwater the final thing that you're going to want to know is does this work for mobs so 
Let me give you the answer to that. So if we just place a skeleton here and we give him some magical boots. Do you freeze the water, skeleton? Do you freeze the water? Let's give him a little nudge. Yes, they do work on mobs. Absolutely fantastic. So guys, that was 10 things about the new Frostwalker enchantment. Now do take note that this is a first snapshot, so stuff may change over time, but pretty damn cool for what we have so far. Though Yang, we need more stuff like this. Has nothing to do with combat, but it's really, really cool. So guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, a like is always much appreciated. Subscribe if you're not already. Thank you very, very much for watching, and I will see you next time.